Oprah will no longer allow foreigners to adopt its children. If it's the first time on my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Foreigners hoping to adopt children from Africa will have to strike Ethiopia off its list. The country parliament has pulled the plug on international adoption by foreigners in a bid to protect children from possible abuse by their new parents. That possibility was highlighted in 2020, in 2012, when in a grim trial, an American couple were jailed for the death of their adopted 13-year-old Ethiopian daughter. The couple was found to have beaten and starved the girl who they have adopted in 2008. She died in 2011. International adoption from Ethiopia and elsewhere in Africa have been long running, but they seems to have gained popularity as major celebrities, including Hollywood and stars Mary Louise Parker, Angelina Jolie, and pop veteran Madonna adopted African children. But the popula popularity of adoption has also raised fear over the possibility exploiting the process for human trafficking. In 2016, Denmark banned adoption from Ethiopia, claiming a lack of data on the origin of children adopted from the country could facilitate trafficking. Some other countries have also set up more strengthened rules for the international adoption process. The U.S. suspended adoption from Ethiopia last March. Instead of letting foreigners adopt them, Ethiopia Parliament say vulnerable children should be catered to by state's children's service. However, there are doubts over the sustainability of that arrangement. The ban on adoption of adversely affect U.S based adoption agency, which processed thousands of adoption requests. Between 1999 and 2016, a total of 15,317 Ethiopian children were adopted in the U.S. According to data from the U.S. Department of State, but with business starting to slow down, some agencies have been forced to shut up shop. My viewers and subscriber, we have a tendency to want to give up our children for adoption to the best possibility of saying that we are not capable of looking after our children. And at times, our children have landed in a, in a worse disaster, not all the time, than we would have have them as parents. Over the years, we have noticed that even children who were adopted would also wanted to find back their, um, their biological parents. And in most cases, what we can see is that the adopted parents, they never hide the fact that they have adopted the children. And sometimes they help the child or those children to find back their biological parents. As you can also realize that it's also open up a door for human trafficking in the pretension that we are adopting these children and end up these children are beaten and starved as the girl we know about. Even our own country, sometimes these things do happen. We give them up to strangers to adopt because we are no longer in the position of taking care of them ourselves. Our, the circumstances under which we, we conceive these children, we don't want to be reminded of it. But I am I'm thankful for what Ethiopia is doing and I hope that other African nations will also take in, this into real consideration and not just when you have hope in a place for them that you solid money on their behalf and never look after them. 
this is also another thing. If the state will take over the responsibility of the children and to put care workers inside to look after them, it is also one of the, the avenues of seeing that they are properly taken care of. As we can realize that in between 2000, in, in 1999 and 2016, a total of 15,317 Ethiopian children were adopted to the United States of America. We may not know how many others have been uncounted for and given up to adoption, especially here in Europe. And we just are saying to all of the parents out there who wants to give up their child for adoption, if we can find somebody in our home country where we live to see if that, that person can take care of that child and you also go and give money to that person to help because since you don't have a home or a suitable environment for that child to grow up in. Because as you notice, human trafficking is one of the, is on the, the rampart. It has never ceased. It's just, it has just grown out of proportion. And many times your children become vulnerable in this situation. My viewers and subscribers, lend me your views on this. So, what do you think about adoption? And when a person adopts a child, what is required of them for this, the outcome of that child? Once again, my viewers and subscribers, this is Jaycon TV out of Zurich saying unto each and every one of us, walk in peace, my friend. Shalom.